Hi guys, it's Chanel. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna dupe it out between two different concealers, figure out which one is gonna be the champion of this concealer battle, and which one's gonna be my hold it down, multiple repurchase over and over again from here on out. We're gonna fight it out between Too Faced and Rare Beauty. Now, Too Faced has been my go-to this whole entire time, but then Selena came on the scene and go boom, 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 throw some little jabs in there. So we gotta figure out which one is gonna be my bae for my face. So you stay tuned. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. Now, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. <laughs> I am a combination oily skin type, so majority of the time, that's what I'm trying to battle is just this production of oil that's seeping through my pores like 24 seven. So that's what I am looking for when it comes to my makeup products is something that's gonna sit there and give me a nice matte finish because Dewey's gonna come no matter what, even if it's matte, it will show up. I like my consistency and I like staying with one particular product with my makeup routine. I will switch it up concerning my eyeshadow and I will switch it up concerning what lashes I wear and I will even switch it up concerning my lipstick. But my base is rather consistent. We're gonna compare and contrast the two. Now, the best way to test this out is that today I have actually both on my face. The right side is gonna be the Too Faced side and the left side is my Rare Beauty side. So I did my makeup like obviously early this morning. It is six o'clock now. This makeup went on my face at 10 o'clock. So she's been on there for hours. So if my makeup look a mess, I'm sorry. She ain't fresh. Just so you know, just wanted to like compare and contrast literally side by side on my face as well. So well, let's just jump into the comparison. With Too Faced, I bought the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And with Rare Beauty, I got the Light Touch Bright Concealer. Now, uh, color-wise, as we all know, both give a good variety concerning selecting a concealer color that's best for you. Since Too Faced has been in the game longer, if I'm not mistaken, they have more concealer color options than Rare Beauty at the time. But I mean, Rare Beauty just jumping onto the scene, they have a really good selection for really fair to dark skin options, but not as many as Too Faced. And because of that, I would have to say Too Faced takes a game on that one concerning just being able to get you in the right color. With Too Faced, I'm in the shade Mocha. That's honestly like my pinpoint perfect shade. It's the perfect tone for me and color, and it's not too orange, and it's not too yellow and bright where it makes me look ashy. It's like right there. When it comes to Rare Beauty color, I got my concealer in 440C and that one a little orange for me. So it's not exactly the tone I would necessarily want it concerning like undertone wise. It does match my skin tone perfectly, but it's not necessarily where I want it to be, if that makes any sense. Now, when it comes to pricing between these two beauties, of course, Too Faced is more expensive. You're looking at $30 per bottle and for Rare Beauty, only a whopping $19. So of course, if you're wanting to be price conscious concerning your makeup, you want something that's gonna be high end and good quality, but not gonna break your bank, then obviously Rare Beauty, hands down, has got you. But take your time and look at the ounces. How much are you getting in your product? Because that does does affect price too. The reality is that with Rare Beauty, cause she's on this side, compared to the Too Faced, cause she's on this side, you are getting less product in comparison to this one. Yeah, you're paying $30, but you're getting a milliliter concerning product and you're only getting 0.25. So you're getting half the product in retrospect. Is it really cheaper if you think about it? Cause I mean, if I'm only getting half, shouldn't it be cheaper than just $19 if this is 30? Ooh, math. 
So yes, you may be paying more upfront for Too Faced, but the reality is, is that it is cheaper in context of actual amount of product you're getting. Because if you're only getting 0.25, this should technically be $15 in comparison to this, but that's not the case. So Too Faced for price wise also is a win for me because the reality is I bought this like literally almost like a year ago and I'm just starting to run out. Thought I would have been run out by now and I haven't. I still am using this every single day and I do my makeup every single day. So price wise, Too Faced takes it again. Now in comparison of application, when you look at the two products, Too Faced, if she's your traditional concealer, she is going to be thick. So a little bit can go a long way when blending it out and she's a heavy full coverage. You do gotta take that time to, you know, beat your face to get that blending through. In comparison to where Beauty with her application, that jank goes on like a melted butter on your skin. <laughs> no lie, girl. As soon as you put it on, she practically blends herself. Like I do dab dab and she's gone already. She's blended through and I just look like I was born this way even though it's my rare beauty. She blends so, so easy. I gotta put work in Too Faced. When it comes to application, you gotta think consistency and the reality is is that Rare Beauty is a lot thinner than Too Faced. So that's why I feel like Rare Beauty blends like a dream because of that itself. It's just a thinner product so it blends real easy and it goes on just so effort effortlessly. Effortlessly. Can I speak today? Effortlessly. She goes on effortlessly. I don't know why that word is so hard today, but you get a good laugh out of it. So it's beneficial to you all. So there you go. But anyways, congratulations, Rare Beauty. You win in that one. I mean, Too Faced got you with two punches already, but Rare Beauty came back. She did a jab, ha, and she's in there. Also going off of application, that final finish, once you do blend her out with the fact that Rare Beauty is a thinner consistency, she is very dewy. You can honestly take your time Time and blending her out and like working on the rest of your face before powdering her down because you can go back and blend it back out. She stays dewy, like she doesn't dry down at all. You have to set her for sure if you are not one for that dewy wet look because that's what she's giving you. Very natural dewy skin. The reality is she blends so beautifully that she'll blend right off your face if you don't set her with a powder. <laughs> and when it comes to Too Faced, um, what I personally like and for my skin type because I am already on the more oilier side and definitely get oilier through the day. I like that Too Faced is a more matter concealer. You do have to work quickly with Too Faced because it does dry down on you and will like not move on you as much as the Rare Beauty will. I mean, of course, no matter what, with all concealers, we're gonna, you know, you know, we're gonna set it with powder. For sure, Too Faced will actually dry down on you to a more matte finish than Rare Beauty. And then last but not least, we gotta talk long longevity here. Like I said, I have had both concealers on all day. I do admit, I touched up before getting on here because I didn't want to be a hot mess for you guys because I did have a face mask on all day. So you know, I came in here and I just caught my life and I'm rather excited about it because guess what? I got lipstick on. I'm so excited because I got lipstick on. Let's see, let me see your face. Girl! Cause let's talk about it. I miss lipstick girl. Mm. Mm. She completes my face. When it comes to longevity considering these concealers, Too Faced for me takes the cake on that. I mean, I know I didn't necessarily give a winner concerning finish. Finish is like more of a concept of what you want in life. For me, Too Faced jobs, Rare Beauty in the face on that one too, cause I want matte. So it's three for Too Faced and one for Rare Beauty if you refer to that. But when it comes to longevity too, I mean, then it's gonna be four to one cause Too Faced definitely lasts me longer throughout the day because it isn't a very dewy product as it is already. And so she sticks and holds better. Rare Beauty will Will keep you looking fresh and beautiful throughout the day, but not to the extent that Too Faced will for my skin type because she will crease on me because I do have oilier skin. I notice that she rubs off easier on me when my skin does start to produce that added oil and that she will start to crease on me underneath my eyes. So I don't know if you can tell between 
each side, but I do feel like this side will start to like crease on me more and like start to look like get that cakier looking feeling than necessarily this side, just in comparison. Well, that is the end of that comparison and bing bam, boom for me to face not rare beauty right on its butt. It said that's real nice that you knew and on the scene, hunties, but she let her know that she's the one that holds it down in this house, that she's the one that's gonna be covering my under eye circles and not rare beauty. Now I ain't gonna hate on rare beauty like I told y'all in my review already of Selena Gomez's rare beauty line. If you haven't seen it, go check it out right here. But as I said, I am happy and more than pleased with Rare Beauty's line. I love me some Selena Gomez, happy to give her my money and support her, especially with the fact that she is having such a positive message behind her makeup and pushing towards more awareness concerning mental health. So yes, I'm gonna be happy to support her and I'm gonna be happy to keep wearing this Rare Beauty because I want to use the products I buy. But when I wanna be beat to the nines, and I'm out there giving you a face and I want that face to stay there all day, then it's gonna be my Too Face. My Too Face is not going anywhere. My Too Face is gonna be my continuous rebuy for sure. Rare Beauty, I love you. I love you, Selena. I'm happy to have supported you and given you some Montees, but my Montees towards you will be continued in like, other endeavors that you do, like your blushes and things, I like those. But your concealer, it's a no for me. Too Faced, you keep getting my money because you keep me beautiful and looking fresh longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this product comparison. If you want more of these product comparisons in the future, definitely give me a thumbs up. I love to know what you guys love and hate from me. Hopefully you guys love me, all of you all. So, you know, show love, not hate. The world needs more of it. Of course, if you have not joined this beautiful beautiful family come join us holy chicks up in here and subscribe because I got more juicy teas for y'all in the future and you do not want to miss out on sipping on that and of course I love to hear from y'all comment down below and we can shit it and chat it up this is real random but I love my shirt and I just want to wrap it real quick so this is my holy chick shirt. I bought her from Buckle. If you guys don't know, I don't know if I announced it on this channel yet, but I used to manage at Hollister. I don't anymore. Avi. I still work retail. I work with Buckle. Truly like best company to work for. The camaraderie, just the family I've built there is amazing. But they came out with this shirt just like recently and I had to get my hands on it. So any of uh, my Christian chicks up in here, want to represent as got shoes definitely go ahead check out buckle.com I'll drop them down below so y'all can get a hold of this or if you want to shop with me directly just leave a comment down below and I'll hook you up and I'll ship it to you other than that you guys have a blessed day and I will talk to you later bye